So, going into it, some classes or some classes that you may go to uh, will require some form of body armor or kit or some kind of a, a equipment carrier of some sort on your body. Um, not every class that I teach needs that, but anything that's related to tactics will need it because we're going to be moving around each other. Um, most law enforcement classes, I specify it. If they're going to wear it on duty, they should practice and learn how to use it or do it with their uh, uh, in training as well. So body armor is one of those things. Um, there is a billion different variations to it and a bunch of ways to kind of carry things and do certain things with it. For me, body armor has become something that's very specific to what I'm doing. So I want it to be modular. I want it to like kind of mold with me in the ways that I need it to. So it's not like all the pouches that are on it aren't sewn on. They're they're woven on or clipped on with Velcro. And, um, and they can be removed when I need them to be. So, for example... Um, um, my kit here is made by, uh, defense mechanisms and that's the base part that holds the plates, the armor plates on my body. Um, but this front panel here is completely different company that just makes modular systems and they work in conjunction with each other with these clips and these clips come off, this Velcro panel comes off and I can put a different one on and change the way that I'm carrying equipment and, also change the type of magazines I'm carrying for whatever I'm using. So if I'm using a bolt gun versus an AR-15, or if I'm using something that's a bigger bore gun, I can, I can kind of set it up accordingly. The other thing that I like about these, um, these different modular setups is that you can hook all sorts of different things on here. So on here, I have something that holds my phone. Uh, it's, it's usually considered an EUD and end user device. Um, and then also some form of a pouch that I just wove, wove on just to add a little bit more storage for different things. Obviously it holds my magazines, my tourniquet, a set of shears so that I can cut through things like clothing and stuff to help people or myself. And then along the sides, I have different things. Um, you see, like I have a handheld flashlight pretty dang necessary for a lot of things. Like I like having handheld for, for, uh, seeing or viewing or checking things out and not having to point a gun at things. Uh, it's not necessary to point my gun at everything that I want to illuminate. And that could be useful. I also have like an admin pouch over here that just carries essentially snacks and cordage cookies. Yeah. Well, sometimes cookies. Uh, uh, I keep John a lot really of really loves cookies. And if you go to one of his classes and you bring him some cookies, he's going to really like that. Yeah. I'll, I'll definitely give you a high five. Yeah. Um, <laughs> in here, I have another like little swabby thingy for my lenses. Um, and I keep different marking panels. I keep, um, wiring from my helmet to my radios and stuff like that. So different things like that, that I'll keep inside these pouches to kind of, you know, supplement stuff. And then in here, a lot of times I keep a bag of some sort, some kind of like uh, collect equipment of some sort and a mask of, of a way to, to kind of obscure my my uh, my face, uh, depending on what I'm doing. Sometimes I'm working with cops and I don't need to be identified as a cop. So I cover my face and make sure that I'm not identifiable in case there's somebody uh, around uh, taking pictures or video and stuff. Um, and then on the other side, I usually keep it pretty slick. Uh, sometimes a knife if I if I'm so inclined to have a blade on me and then these black things that are on here are just side armor so using side plates for some people is necessary some people it's not um, uh, on occasion I'll wear them because of what I'm doing or I'll take them off because I don't need them at the time so it just depends on what you're doing uh, some and who makes those plates well uh, uh, this is all defender armor all defender armor. Uh, I think it's uh, D F N D R is how they spell it. Um, yeah, I think I saw a video where Tim Kennedy was shooting Defender plates with all different rounds. It stopped every single one of them. They're, they're pretty good. They do the, they do the job depending on which ones you buy. Um, and I, I've been pretty happy with them. They're not very heavy, um, although all of this together is fairly heavy. And then um, the last thing that's kind of cool that I don't think a lot of people notice or ever see because it's hidden is in here, I keep uh, a trauma kit that's packed in a way that it fits next to my plate carrier. 
So I can have extra medical with me, not just on my belt, not just on my plate carrier, but inside my plate carrier, just in case. So if I needed it, I could use this on myself or somebody Who else. Who makes that? And this is made by Focus Group and Focus with a PH. And, uh, and it's uh, an old Navy or uh, former Navy SEAL that came up with a bunch of different ways of packing uh, med kits in a different way. That's, that's pretty awesome. Oh, you know, it's super functional, uh, in my opinion. Now, it's not as comfy for some people because they feel like some of these things poking at them under their plate carriers. But if you have a little bit of padding like I do on here, uh, it's really not that big of a deal. And, uh, and for me, if I really need to use that one... Um, and take off my plate carrier to use it or unvelcro it while I'm still wearing it and pull and so it out. It goes, the pro, it goes behind the plate because obviously if it's in front, then... It's going to get damaged, yeah. yeah. Exactly. I mean, but hopefully I don't need it if it's in front of the plate. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, but the back end, most of the stuff that's in there is is like a fabric of some sort, right? Like gauze or pressure dressing, stuff like that. So it could be pushed a little bit. Um, and there are things that could be damaged there, like the... Uh, the uh, I can't remember the name of it, but there are some things that could be damaged in there. There is a uh, a couple different items that are for medical stuff, like uh, needles and or decompression needles and stuff like that that could be damaged. But you take the chance getting shot at, having medical on you. You kind of working with what you have and the space you have to like wear dif- different things. And um, it's your equipment, you set it up however you want. So uh, going to the website, if you're looking for a class or want to go to a class or take a class, uh, you can just scroll down on the homepage and you can see all the classes that I have going on in 2022, 2023 so far. It's a living document, so it just continues to like grow or when a class passes, I delete it off of there. But let's say you wanted to go to any of these, like let's say uh, weaponized geometry in Vero Beach, you'd click it. And it would take you right to the weaponized geometry page and you would just have to select which date depending on which dates were available. And if it's um, lighter gray color, that means it's out of stock. So you wouldn't be able to do it because these classes sell out pretty quick. Uh, But you can be notified if a slot opens up and somebody canceled on me. And, uh, And as long as there's enough time to fill the spot, you would get notified and you can pay for your spot in the class. But Every class is like this where you can you can click right onto it from the schedule and it'll take you right to all the available classes and dates and locations. And they're all over the US and if you see one that you you want to do and it's not anywhere near you and you have the ability to host or have the facility to host, that's where you would go to that hosting tab again and go through that process of hosting. It's actually very easy. I'm not very high maintenance when it comes to things. Uh, I'd rather get more people to come learn than make it so complicated that people can't learn, right? They, they're not going to be willing to go through the, the hoops to get me there to actually go through the process of learning. So private individuals, law enforcement, I know sometimes you train some military units as well. Yep. So anybody that wants to host a class or to have John teach your unit, your, the guys you work with in law enforcement, or just your friends or family, This is the process. I highly recommend it. Super simple.